All right, Aztec football, fall camp underway. They'll play their first game this month. Texas A&M Commerce, August 31st, Snapdragon Stadium. And it's great to connect with Marquez Cooper right now on John and Jim. Had the good pleasure of meeting him this afternoon on the Mesa after practice. The nation's active leading rusher. Uh, Marquez, first of all, thanks for joining us here on the home of the Aztecs. I, I want to start there. What does that mean to you? Did, did, at what point did you realize that, that you're entering 2024 and there's nobody in college football with more rushing yards than you? Yeah, uh, I realized it after the last game uh, last last season. Uh, but first, let me say thank you for uh, having me on. It's a pleasure. I appreciate it. Um, after the f- last game last season, they posted something showing the uh, top five guys that had the most – uh, rushing yards and I was number two so with Frank Gore uh, going to the NFL that uh, definitely makes me number one so uh, you know it's a great deal to me it's a great honor to uh, hold that going into the season. D- describe the excitement Marquez that you have for this year three years at Kent State one year at Ball State reunited with Sean Lewis how exciting is this for you? I uh, mean it's very exciting you know it really just hit me today because we got to put the pads on or the helmet on and bullets got to fly in. So, uh, you know, pl- we got to call in plays. So I just got deja vu from back in the day and stuff like that. So today it really hit me and it was a uh, very exciting, you know, I have my most productive seasons being under coach Lewis. So, uh, this offense and stuff like that, man, I'm excited as ever. Well, once you saw that, that coach Lewis was going to be the new head coach here at San Diego state, how easy was it for you once he made the call to hop on board here and come here to San Diego State? Oh, uh, man, when I was in the portal and, you know, they let me know I had the, the offer, man, I, me, my family, we knew it, it was the place. You know, this was a great – this is San Diego State's RBU. Y'all have the current leading rusher of all time right now with most yards. So, uh, it's, it's a track history of great running backs to come through this – facility in this program so uh it's an honor to be a aztec marquez cooper san diego state senior tailback with us right now on john and jim fall camp underway on the mesa tell us about day one um what was it like getting out there with your teammates and how did you feel after the first day of fall camp oh man it felt amazing uh the line was blocking very well when i was in so i had two (laughs) nice runs today you know so it really just just being out there uh being able to hit the hole again uh, i haven't strapped up since last december since i was in the portal uh during spring ball and stuff like that i didn't get no spring ball so to be out there again to be playing football was just something you know just a feeling is you know something that i always want to have and do for a very long time you're one of the few guys that has actually played in a Sean Lewis offense. What what makes it unique, and what what can you say about it to fans that haven't seen this type of offense or his offense be run in, in college football? Well, don't blink. You know, uh, <laughs> any play could be a touchdown scoring play, an explosive play. Uh, you're going to see, if you like passing, you're going to – uh, see a lot of passes thrown. If you like running, you're going to see a lot of running plays happening. We just run a lot of plays, and uh, we do it very effectively. Um, and we have one of the top offenses when we were at Kent State. So uh, it's just, you know, it's 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 electric. Marquez Cooper, San Diego State senior running back with us right now. John and Jim, San Diego Sports 760. Um, how's it been for you to interact with the quarterbacks? I mean, you have all new teammates, obviously, here at SDSU. I know it's only day one of fall camp. Um, we've heard about A.J. Duffy and Danny O'Neill, the the rest of the group as well. What are, what are you seeing from the quarterbacks this summer and now into into camp? Man, uh, uh, it's, it's going to be hard to keep these quarterbacks happy. they got so many years left, they're going to be competing with each other. But uh, Duffy is a great quarterback great guy you know I love hanging with him talking to him he helps me out with the uh where I need to be all the time you know I gotta wipe the rust off I haven't been in the I've been a year away from this offense uh uh Danny 
he's a great quarterback also great got great potential as a young bull um and he's been doing well and he's very tough and Kyle Crum he's a dog also you know I learned we uh I'm into the training thing too so he has a training he does so I asked him for a bit of advice with that and how he goes about that and he's been very welcoming and we was uh next door neighbors for a little while too so uh, I got a great connection with all three of them, to be honest. Well, what, what do you make of this running back room that you're a part of? Uh, I mean, you probably had some good running back rooms at Kent State, obviously with Sean Lewis's offense, but what do you make of this one that you're a part of right now? Yeah, this one is is like no other. Uh, we have a little – we have something of every – of all kinds, you know, all types of backs in the room. Uh, we got a pretty good speed guy with Keenan. We got a, a, a big – you know, hard runner with Jay Money and Lucky. And we got a, you know, speed and shifty guys with uh, me and Cam Davis. So, uh, you know, and then we got a, you know, an energizer bunny with uh, Nick G- uh, Gardenera. So uh, all of us play a big role in the success we are going to have along with Coach Hagan. Um, he was a dog at running the rock too. He played quarterback at Colorado. So, you know, he, he can tell us a thing or two about what we should have done and how we need to run the ball. Who's the fastest player on the team? We've been, we've talked about this, I think with Sean Lewis before, but you got obviously Keenan has won like we've talked state, to Keenan about yeah, it too. state track, like championships. And I want to say maybe your former teammate, Jay Sean Polk is a speedster as well. Who's the fastest player on the team? Well, yeah, it's between one of the two of those guys. <laughs> uh, but I will say the, uh, shout out to Keenan to run track at a D1 USC. You gotta have some serious wheels. So um, that so I'm probably I might go with him just because he's a track guy. But Polk was a track guy in high school. He just didn't decide to do it in college. He could have, but uh, both of them is is, is definitely speeders for sure. Marquez, before you go, I, re- I read something from Paul Garrison in the East Village Times at some point this summer about how you were like speaking to high school football teams in San Diego, even though you're obviously not from San Diego, you're new to San Diego State, and you like showed up unannounced at one point, maybe to Helix, which is a great high school program, and you connected with their players and their their coaches. What was your motivation there, um, and how many high school teams have you been able to connect with, and what what's the message you're trying to get out? Yeah, uh, just being an underrated guy, underlooked guy myself, I just wanted to give motivation to, you know, some guys that was maybe struggling with their recruiting process, give them steps and feedback and what you should do off the field and how you should act on the field. So just to give back to the community was just basically the whole motivation and also get my name out there let them know that it's a it's a dog running back at san diego state that's going to be running the rock so uh come follow me and get ready to uh turn on your tvs when the time the games come on love to hear it like you said there's been an amazing uh lineage of tailbacks at san diego state rbu here in san diego the recent the pumphreys the pennies the Falks, so many over the years uh, marquez cooper we're excited to watch you this fall on the mesa at san diego state we appreciate you taking time for us and uh, we hope to do it again soon and thank you thanks man thank you for having me on once again talk to you soon